back everyone to another exciting episode of Revelations. I am the most influential speaker from the House of M and this wonderful stuff is brought to you by Inspired Creations HOM. I have five little boxes I want to show you. I, they, they contain... I, <laughs> the heck kind of noise was that? Um, the five little boxes are from uh, uh, the Dark Knight uh, Batman movies. Um, and they're all should be characters uh, uh, or based on the character of Joker, different poses or different character styles of that, of that, uh, the Joker character from that movie. Wow, what a stupid explanation that was. But um, I want to say they're blind packs, but I'll find out shortly because they, they do have specific characters on the packages. Um, and we'll see. I'm not sure if that's displaying what you could get um, in, a, in this otherwise mystery box. Or that's literally telling you who you get. So we'll find out pretty shortly. So I'm going to try to keep it as mystery as much as I can. But let's take a look at the boxes. And I'm um, still injured from my uh, from my left hand soldier. So I got got a nice another little... from using this, Remember these things? Remember I showed them on another episode? I'm going to use these guys to cut off any plastic if we have them. I haven't opened these before. So we'll see if I need them. Um, but let me switch the camera and get uh, started on these reveals. There they are. There's the Joker boxes. So let's take one, and we'll slide that. Oh, that opened really nicely. That's nice. We'll put that over there. And okay, so there it is. So now there's the package. Okay, good. So it's not necessarily the case. So this was the artwork that was on the box, and this is the figure I got, which is different. So I'm glad. Um, now I don't have to worry about it. So they are mystery figures. We don't know who we're gonna get, which is always kind of fun. Let's use our scissors here to open and free the Joker. Uh, so there he is. This is like from the beginning of the movie when he's got his uh, the bank robbing scene. But there he is right there. He's holding a little pistol, a uh, uh, little bag full of money and his classic uh, mask there um, but there's Heath Ledger's Joker I'll put him to the side I can't put him in the stand sorry guys uh, it doesn't look like it fits too well in there let's get on to the next one though all right so there's the Joker looking out of the car uh, the police car when he pretty much sealed his own victory and did everything he wanted. He was just enjoying, enjoying life at that moment in the scene. So there's another Heath Leather Joker. I'm going to bring the other one back on here to see if, if there's a certain peg that this one goes into to see if they're different. Doesn't really, doesn't really equate the same type of thing. No. I guess not. Well, we'll leave them like that kind of on there. On to the next one. So this Joker is the one where he's hanging upside down at the end of the movie where he's caught. He's been caught. So let's see if we can get this. Um, actually, I'll probably put this one in first. So he's got a little hole in his butt. <laughs> okay. So the, there's a little uh, round piece at that bar at the thing so that's supposed to, oh god this is supposed to be family friendly um uh, <laughs> supposed to put that in his butt let's see if i can get it in there uh, i'm not gonna be <laughs> i can't do it i can't get it in his butt again this is supposed to be family friendly i'm just saying what i need to do here um i can't i can't <laughs> well, it, maybe that worked. Let's see. Yeah, okay, that, that'll do. Uh, so then you put, hopefully this goes in easier. <laughs> None of these things work easy. Oh, that that actually worked. Okay, that's in. It just fell out of, <laughs> it fell out of his butt. Um, let's try that again. There we go. <laughs> Good God. Um, there's a Joker being held uh, upside down at the end of the movie when Batman finally catches the villain. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Next next piece, all right? Let's make sure this remains family friendly. Uh, get this next one out. Do we have a double? We do not. All 
So there's this one, and uh, he's holding the, uh, or he's threatening to blow everyone up with grenades. Whoop, let's put it on the camera. Sorry. Um, he's got his jacket open, and he's. This is when he confronts the the bosses, and they could very easily shoot him or take him out. But he has a little thing attached to him. Um, that's what this is. That's what he's holding in that hand. Uh, it's a little string that pulls the pins out of all those grenades to kill everyone in the room if he needs to, to ensure that he has his escape. And escape he does from the uh, bosses over there. So is this going to be easy? Nope. Oh, that one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that was easier. So that one went right on. So you'll have very variations of success with those stands. <laughs> but there he is holding their grenades. That's pretty cool. I like that one too. They've all been pretty neat. All right, last one. He does not. So there's the Joker holding a, the automatic machine gun there. Semi-automatic? I don't know what you call it. I'm not a gun guy. But there he is holding that um, and just begging the Batman to come and hit him and kill him. He wants him to do it. But Batman, being the awesome hero that he is, does not do it. He does not do it. Let's see. Where can I put these guys? Put them here. Lower my camera down. That works. Okay. So there's our Joker figures from the Dark Knight. Um... I try, I try to keep it family friendly, um, but you can uh, see if you can find these guys out. Oh, these came out a while ago. These were gifted to me as well, so um, just opening them now for the first time. But they're very, very cool. Um, and again, got all all different ones too. So that's really, really awesome. So that's our show for this week. Um, please follow us on our Facebook page. You can get the most um, bang for your buck there. There's nothing to pay for. Actually, everything I do is free. Um, but uh, on our Facebook page, it's uh, Inspired Creations HOM. You can see all of our artwork. You can see all of our um, posts that we do with the Cricut applications, which include like tumblers, hoodies, uh, earrings now, um, all kinds of fun stuff. And I'm always looking to try to do new stuff uh, on there as well, too. Um, but you also see links to our YouTube shows, which is what you're watching here. Um, our YouTube channel, of course, is Icebox Cast. So spread the word, subscribe to it, uh, hit comment if you're able to. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to because most of these things, despite this, is family friendly. So I have them filter for kids. Um, but uh, you can also you can you can like them though. So this it just came off. But you can uh, leave a like if you can. That means a lot to me. This just shows that I'm doing something decent, and I appreciate it as well, big time, guys. Um, and I think that's about it. But uh, so again, when you see these posts, once you like and share our, or once you like our Facebook page, give it a share. Please comment on our feeds and our posts. Um, and again, I'll interact with you because I really have nothing else to do. And this, actually, honestly, doing this stuff is what I love doing. So um, I love trying to uh, bring a little bit of happiness to our crazy real world of reality. Um, and if I can do that and make anyone smile or even just laugh a little bit. I will have a uh, mission accomplished. But until then, please remember, uh, it's never too late to create and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.